Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sessa here. We got some pretty cool fonts to use each month now. I thought it was a good idea. So now let's just get into it because you guys need some fonts. All the fonts in the video are in the description down below and let's just hop into it. All right, the first font for whatever reason is Brick, a hand-drawn graffiti font designed by someone most likely really handsome and humble, Sesso HQ. <laughs> Inspired by my five month work vacation in New York City, I created this really unique expressive font for your urban design needs. From letters to numbers to symbols, it's honestly no bias whatsoever, a really dope font pickup. Next font that actually isn't mine is known as Ridge. This modern sans serif font was designed for headlines and titles. It features sharp and defined edges that give a really strong and confident look. Creating a sense of movement and energy to use in all things design. Comes in four styles, completely free for personal and commercial use. And just has a really cool feeling to it. If you guys need a font for industrial or even like motorsport kind of projects, I think this font is a super dope download for your font arsenal. Up next is Druzok. This font has a bit of a rebellious and playful feel that allows this font to actually stand on its own very well. It has two variables per letter if you guys choose to use cap locks or not. It has a bit of a gothic style but with the right color scheme actually and composition. It could play a really dope urban role. For me, these are one of those fonts that if you were to actually use like a dope typography technique and like write out a word in a more general sans serif font, maybe like a Druk, and replace a few of those letters with a Druzok font, you'd probably grab some cool attention. The craziest part is it's free for commercial use and that's, that's kind of wild. So for me, that's a download. Speaking of urban though, we have the Kids of Verona font, a super unique graffiti tag font that I stumbled on when it looks for something legible but also really playful and different. It has a few alternate styles for many of the character sets, 42 glyphs in total actually and completely free, which is also really dope. Meant to feel spontaneous and many of the glyphs actually being unintentional variations of different letters makes each letter themselves feel like its own unique tag before you even put it into a word. Super fun and definitely worth the download. Plus the project was pretty cool too. Up next is Gianco. This display font has a really cool industrial yet modern feel with its diagonal ink traps. It's meant to work extraordinarily well as a stacked or interlocking font that made this just way too dope. It gives off a sense of a pattern alongside a fairly legible typeface for posters in need of like filling up space. I'm honestly a super big fan of the art for each letter itself to be honest. Really making this font one of a kind and absolutely one of my newest downloads. Up next is Kimura. It's an oblique display type that was inspired by the sense of bravery. It has a cool take on space and futuristic vibes and sort of reminds me of an updated planet cosmos font lookalike. I don't know if you know what that is, but if you do, you do, you don't, whatever. With a solid range of upper, lowercase, and symbols, it's honestly not a bad pickup whatsoever. And last up is Ezrella. I had to throw this one in here for my apparel and streetwear artists because this font just fits the genre. Free for commercial use and it has a really fun hand-drawn weight to it that makes it feel very familiar but yet still very unique. Plus, for a hand-drawn font to not just have capital but also lowercase, that's a W in my book. This is definitely worth the download if you're in need of some really cool hand-drawn fonts besides mine being brick font for the record. But actually, it's well worth it. And with that being said, that is the end of the video here today. So hopefully you have a you know a favorite font in the video. Most likely it's going to be Brick for no reason whatsoever. But with that being said, it says so HQ out. You're going to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, peace. And if you have yet to check it out, everything packed, selfie.com, so, 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 so,